Welcome to Unity Fighting Championship. Here's the tale of the tape for our first amateur fight of the evening. This amateur featherweight bout features Stockton's Liam Thomas, an experienced boxer with a record of 0-2 inside the cage. Can Thomas get his first MMA win tonight as he takes on Catterick's Ben Graham, who currently has a record of two wins and zero losses? Let's join the action inside the cage. So welcome ladies and gentlemen to Unity Fighting Championships, our debut event here in Darlington. I'm Rob Just a Job Nutley, with me the legend that is Ian the Machine Freeman and we'll be talking you through tonight's fight. So right now, Liam Thomas, Ben Graham. Well Liam Thomas will definitely want to keep his standing, like I say he's got really good hands on him. He's got quite a few knockouts in his boxing career, he just seems to struggle a little bit on the ground. As you can see, he's keeping his distance. He's not getting too close so he can be clinched. Yeah, Graham on the back foot, just moving on the outside. Well, Graham does have that reach advantage, Rob. Look, the size of his limbs is a, a good foot taller than Liam. Graham. I think Graham knows that Liam has good boxing ability because he's keeping well on the outside. Doesn't want to get in in striking distance. Right, just pouring out that jab, finding the range. There's the hands, he's going to let them fire. You just wonder if Graham is lulling them in so he can get a nice clinch or a shoot in for a double. Yeah, he's pouring that hand out there. No level changes yet though, Rob. It's not as if he's faking any any shot he's just trying to keep on the outside because he knows the power in Liam Thomas hands catches the leg Thomas does well stays upright yeah Liam Thomas just needs to get on the inside of that long distance that long reach A little bit of a taekwondo match so far, Rob. Lots of kicks, very limited punches. Yeah, Liam looks like he's trying to close that range. See there with that right hook, glancing, good body shot. Good left upstairs. Yeah, they're starting to size each other up now. They're starting to get the range, starting to get the distance together. There's a big overhand there by Thomas. Well, he's oh, nice left hook there by Liam Thomas. Puts Graham on his back foot. Is Graham happy to get into the boxing match? Thomas looking very composed, coming forward. Nice low kick by Graham, and you can see the leg of Thomas starting to redden up. I think Thomas getting a bit more confident. Look at the hands down by his waist. Needs to be careful, though. Ben Graham's not two and all for nothing. Ten seconds to go. Well, that was my next question, Ian. Do you think it's the boxing that's got Graham on the back foot? As you said, he's not really changed levels. He stayed at the same level. He's moving around the outside well, but he's allowing Thomas to control the centre. Well, maybe he'll come back in this round a little bit more confident. He survived one round. Both guys have survived one round. But to be honest, as you can see, look at Liam Thomas. He's getting more confident himself. Spinning back kick there. The less that Ben Graham is hitting Thomas, the more that Thomas is getting confident. Thomas again, straight back to the centre. Well, Graham's definitely winning the kicking game. I would just like to see Ben Graham throw more hands. To be honest, Rob, they're a little bit of a carbon copy of each other, aren't they? Only one is slightly longer than the other in the body stature. That was a nice connection on that kick. Yeah, but again, it's similar to the second in that you've got Ben Graham circling, backing off, 
Thomas coming forward. Graham almost avoiding engaging with Thomas. And then the legs go, good work. He definitely winning the kicking game with Graham, but he needs to come forward a lot more than what he's doing. Because what it's looking like in the judge's eyes, he kicks and then he backs off, he backs off. He's worried to commit, he's frightened to commit any punches. You can see Graham's game plan, you know, he's looking to take out that lead leg, slow down the boxing. It, it'll make it difficult for Thomas to plant and fire. But is it the right decision in a three minute round? Is it the right strategy? Like I say, Rob, three minutes, it's not a long time. MMA is also about aggressiveness. It's about moving forward. It's about wanting to win the fight, trying to win the fight. It's not like a boxing match where you can jab for three or four rounds and win those three or four rounds. You have to try and commit and look like you're winning or wanting to try to win. Again, those beautiful low kicks there by Graham. Starting to take their toll. It's starting to hurt Thomas yeah, now. Yeah, Thomas needs to learn how to shin check. But the hands are down by the side for Liam Thomas. He's in no fear of the punches, but definitely in fear nice of those kicks. Time. And as you can see, he's limping now. Yeah, as I said, I feel it was a strategy by Graham. It seems to have worked. Certainly put a sting into that lead leg. Yeah, now it's Thomas on his back foot. Well, if I was in the corner playing Thomas now, and Thomas's leg is hurting that much, I would just tell him, look, go for broke. The punches of Graham are not devastating enough to bother you, so just go for it. The more you keep it on the outside, the more your leg is getting kicked. Go on the inside, close the distance so that he can't kick you. Puts that jab out well. Again, Graham with that kick. Yeah, change his stance. And you could hear that, that certainly had a bit of snap in it. Yeah, Thomas really feeling those now. Yeah, Graham's coming for the kill now. He knows that leg is hurting. Thomas just needs to chin, chin down, swing for it. But again, Thomas is staying on the outside. The legs are longer than the hands. He's on the outside, but he's getting kicked just like that. Yeah, it'd be nice to see him cut those angles off, shorten that distance. Allowing Graham almost too much respect and too much movement. And you can see he's switching legs here and it's really yeah, hurting. It's not going to be long before you. He could be on the canvas himself on those leg kicks. Needs to reevaluate when he gets back to the gym and learn those shin checks. Now it's Thomas avoiding the punishment. Good work by Graham. Set up the hands with a leg kick. Yeah, Thomas looks like he's had enough of those leg kicks. Doesn't want to doesn't want to taste another one of those. Gets caught with a right hand as well. But he's getting caught in a leg kick fight, Ian, which is not the way to go. Oh, nice right hand by Thomas. And again. And that's where Thomas is dangerous with those hands. Yeah, Thomas needs to understand the physics of how leg kicks are going to work in his next fight. He's keeping on the outside thinking he's safe. He might be safe from the punches, but he's not safe for the, from those long legs. So instead of trying to keep on the outside, he should try and go on the inside. So that the, the distance from his thigh to the leg. The referee's having a word, he's not happy with the... Although they are engaging, they're not engaging into a fight. Good work by Trevor Mitchell. Oh. Maybe Thomas is waving him on. Come on, that's what he should have done earlier in the round. But every time he moves out, he's getting caught with a kick. Yeah, he needs to stay in that pocket. Sit on Graham. 
Well, 10 seconds and he backs off. He should have just put chin down and went for it there. 